Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 802 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It is Unit 10, Lesson 5, Superlatives. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 1, Student's Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. And four, a dictionary. Our lesson objectives. Number one, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to use superlatives in writing sentences. So, what are superlatives? Look at the blue square in the corner. Let's read the sentence. The square is, you have to use an adjective to fill in that gap. And the adjective I have chosen is small. So the square is small. Now, I added a star. Now, I'm going to use a super, uh, I'm going to compare the star to the square. The star is smaller than the square. Now we have two things to compare, but we can add yet another one. There is the circle. The circle is the smallest. If you compare three items and you would like to say that one is small, smaller than any other, you can just say the circle is the smallest. So we use adjectives small to describe nouns. So, small describes square. We also use them to compare. So, smaller compares both star and square. So, we're using comparatives, which is smaller, and superlatives, which is the smallest. And this is comparing circle and any other shape in that area. Okay, so forming the superlative. We have a rule, we have form, we have examples. The first rule is most one-syllable adjectives, what do you do with that? You just add the adjective EST. So what is a one-syllable adjective? For example, fast. Fast is a one-syllable adjective. So you add the, then you write the adjective, which is fast, and then EST, the fastest. Just like that, old. The oldest. Now, one syllable that ends in E. You add the adjective, and this time just ST. Like, nice, you say, the nicest. Nice has an E at the end. That is why you do not add another E. You just add ST. Safe, ends in E, you say, the fastest. A third rule, one syllable that ends in a vowel. Do you remember the vowels? They are A, E, I, O, U. And the rest of the letters, there are consonants. So, you add the, you add the adjective, and you double the consonant. You write it again, and you write EST, just like in the example. You say big, big is B I G, I is a vowel, and G is a consonant. You double the G, the biggest, the biggest. Slim has an I, then an M. You say, the slimmest. M is doubled. A fourth rule, two syllables that end in Y. You, this is the rule. The adjective, and you have Y, I-E-S-T. What do you do with the Y? You cross out the Y. You cannot write it. So, pretty, which is a two-syllable adjective, you cross out the Y, you add the, and you say, the prettiest. Happy, the happiest. Happy ends in Y. All right, now we go to the fifth rule. 
multisyllables. There are syllables more than one. For example, the most adjective. So, for example, we have modern. It is a two-syllable adjective. You say the most modern. Then you have beautiful, a three-syllable adjective. You say the most beautiful. Now, most is a positive. You can use the negative, which is least. You say the least difficult. Difficult is a three-syllable adjective. The least expensive. It means the cheapest. Now, the last rule is common exceptions. You write there, then there is no rule to it. Let's take a look. You say good. Good is an adjective that the superlative changes the whole word. For example, the best. Best is the superlative of good. Bad, you say the worst. More, you say the most. Little, you say the least. Now, let's go over a task and let's check. Question, convert the adjectives to the superlative form in the following. And you have a mark of four. Number one, pretty. Change pretty into a superlative. Let's take a look. The answer is the prettiest. Pretty is a two-syllable that ends in Y. That is why you have to cross out Y and add I. Number two, good. All right, let's take a look. Good becomes the best, the best, because good is a common exception. Number three, fit. Let's take a look. The fittest, the fittest. You have a vowel, then a consonant. You double the consonant, you add EST. Number four, large. Let's take a look. The largest. Large is a one syllable adjective that ends in E. That is why you just add ST. Give yourself a mark of four and let's carry on. Superlatives, sentence formation. You start with the subject, plus, verb to be, plus, article, plus, superlative, plus, the complement of the sentence. So let's take a look. You have the subject as the ball. Verb to be is. Article, the. Superlative, lightest, lightest. Complement in the box. You say, the ball is the lightest in the box. This is another example. The kids are the nicest among their peers. That flower is the prettiest. As you see, you do not need another complement to the sentence. It is compared among all flowers. This car is their fastest. And you see, the article changed into their, which is a possessive pronoun. Their fastest. Task two. Complete the sentences with the superlative form of adjectives from the box, answer in your notebooks. And there are about six adjectives, big, dependable, early, good, happy, and young. Now the first one, number one, decision Phil ever made was to get a degree. Now he makes a lot more money than he used to. So what is the answer? You have a mark of five to worry about. The answer is the best. So the best decision Phil ever made was to get a degree. Now he makes a lot of money than he used to. Go back to the, um, the box and cross out good because good, 
The best is a superlative form of good. Now, you have five minutes to answer this question.
are right. Now let's take a look at the answer. Now before that, mark yourself uh, out of five. Now the model answer, number two, the biggest. Number three, the earliest. Number four, youngest. Number five, the happiest. Number six, the most dependable. Pay attention to the capital letter in T, capital letter in five, so there. And all of these should be in lowercase. Task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question. Write four sentences in superlatives using the following. And you have a mark of eight. Number one, bananas cheap in the market. You have to combine all these into a one sentence using superlatives. Two, these movies interesting on TV. Three, my mother's food good, I have tasted. Four, this car there luxurious in the collection. Now, you have five minutes to answer this question. All right, now let's go over the model answers. But before we do that, we have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. The model answer, B. The first one, bananas are the cheapest in the market. Number two, these movies are the most interesting on TV. Number three, my mother's food is the best I have ever tasted. Number four, this car is their most luxurious in the collection. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back for finishing the lesson and give yourself three marks, then calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use superlatives in writing sentences. And you have a mark out of 20. If you have all of your answers correct, 100%, that means 20 marks, then proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 15 or higher, 
Go over the part you failed in and redo that. If you have 75% correct answers or lower than that, that means 15 or less, go over the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck. Thank you for your attention.